Okay guys, this is my first ever YouTube video. Um, it's actually not quite true because I, I already repaired this um, and uh, filmed it all um, to find that it was uh, out of focus. So hopefully this will go better. So this is a Magimix uh, Nespresso coffee machine and the issue that I was having with it prior to repair is every time you made a cup of coffee, the drip tray would fill with, with uh, water. So you could probably make two cups of coffee and then this would start to overflow. So obviously the machine was leaking either um, I, I, from, from the, the internal part somewhere. I wasn't quite sure. Looked online, tried to find a resolve, couldn't find anything. So I rang Nespresso. Now this machine is just two years old. It, at the time it was just two years old. It was two weeks out of warranty. So I rang them hoping that, you know, like a good uh, um, a company that they would uh, um, say, okay, we'll send you a new machine, whatever. No, in actual fact, they wanted 90 euros just to look at it. That's just to, that's just to carry the machine to them, which costs about five or six euros, seven euros here in, in, in Ireland. And they then wanted to charge 90 euros just to look at it. That would have been plus parts and labor. So, but they did generously offer me a 20% discount on a new machine. Now, this machine, as I say, just over two years old, however, had very little use. I'd only ever used Nespresso capsules, which I'd ordered online. It had had about 600 capsules in its lifetime, um, so it was an excessive use. Um, and I did expect something a little bit better. And I, I, I was quite annoyed because the cost of the machine was about 200 euros. I'm expecting it to last longer than, than two years. It's not had a, a, a massive amount of use. Um, so I thought, well, let's have a look and see if I can repair it myself. So we diagnosed the issue as this um, brewing chamber in here must have been leaking. Um, so I looked around on a spare parts company that's um, based in the UK. I'll give you the link to them. And they sent me a complete new unit. Okay, so um, everything. You, know, you no need to strip this down. Don't bother stripping it down. You won't be able to repair anything in here. It's, um, there's too many moving parts and you don't really know where the issue is. This costs about 25 euros for a complete new plus postage and packing, which was a few euros. So I got the machine up and running for about 30 euros, let's say, plus a little bit of my time. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strip the machine of all of these accessories, move everything out of the way, and we're gonna use a, because it's got a chrome side to it, we're gonna use a cloth, just place it on a cloth so we don't scratch it. Okay, so all the accessories removed. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you turn this machine over, as I say, I, I have already repaired this, so I'm running through the motion again just to, to show you how to do it. Um, tools you will need, um, long nose pliers, um, the star screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a small flat uh, screwdriver. So on the base here uh, of your machine, you find that um, they have a special oval screw in there. You can't really see it that closely, um, but the screws are very slightly ovaled. You need a special tool to remove the screws, um, which you can buy from uh, eBay. Um, if you search for crops or, or Nespresso um, machine, um, a special uh, a screwdriver, um, you can find it. I'll try and post the link to that. What I did was I used a, a pair of pliers similar to this um, and I basically gripped it and turned it and they undid. But I wouldn't recommend that. It was extremely time consuming 
um, I'd, I'd buy the, the specialist tool. Now, as I have repaired this already, I've replaced it with um, stainless steel screws in there now, um, just for, for, for ease in, in the future. So, all we need to do is undo all the screws here. So, I have a combination now of standard Phillips type screws, stainless steel, and um, the star type screws here. So, all of those. This basically just this plastic housing here um, houses the um, electrical connections and uh, the water connections into the machine. So I'm going to remove all of those. Okay, so now gently prise this away, small screwdriver, plate away here. Okay, now we expose the base of the machine. Okay, place all those screws in there so I know where they are. Now, what I would recommend to do is just to take a photograph of this here so you know exactly where everything goes back when you reassemble it. So what we do down the base, bottom here, let's make sure that we're in focus there, yeah. And the base here, move it slightly closer. Now, Make sure that's in focus, one second. Yeah, okay. So here you find two uh, water supply uh, lines here. So um, you can't mix them up. One is slightly larger than the other. They just simply push back from there. Note how the wires are held in place here. Make sure that you put that back. You don't want any of these wires trapped when you reassemble it. So we're going to disconnect black, disconnect these, and earth light, and from there. So all of those are off now. It simply pulls away. The base here. Okay. Gently feed those wires through, and we can discard that this time. Right, this is a nice chrome cover on it, plastic um, chrome cover here. So, remove the trunk for a second. So, gently put your fingers in the back there. If you haven't got nails, then use a small screwdriver, put that in the back and just lift it up now just gently the back and the front lift that slightly the same on the other side don't force it you don't want to break it okay this piece now just drops out from the front there that went there that just uh, clips into place there, okay, so that's uh, come off, and then just lift that out. Now, you see here, you have a male and a female part here, so they just slot in together like so, when you assemble it again, okay, so you'll need to put this part with the protruding lugs on first, 
and this one second, okay? So keep those in that, that order over here now. Now these are your buttons here for your desired coffee. You've got uh, a, a small cup here, they're programmable anyway, a small cup or a, a larger cup here. So they've got little um, rubber, protective rubber uh, sleeves on them, so they just remove, place them in the same order, and then remove these, being very gentle with these. So they just clip into place. Again, you can use a very small screwdriver, no force is needed here. Just gently move it out of position. Make sure those wires are very gentle with it. Okay, there you go. So next we need to remove this upper housing here. So small screwdriver again, in position, on there. Same on the other side. A little bit fiddly. Okay, and that whole thing lifts up. Move that away. And this plastic clip also. Again, just gently that's it out of way, one side and then the other. No real force needed to move any of these parts. Right, and that's just loosened that ready. Now on the top of here, you'll find four standard Phillips screws. Okay, so easy enough to remove. At the back, you'll find the water supply that goes into the back here has a small spring-loaded retaining clip. So just remove that. Again, small screwdriver only. Remove that, pull that out. And in the back here, you will see that there is a small um, rubber seal, like a silicon seal in the back of there. Your new one will come with that anyway, so don't worry about that on the old part, okay? This is the part that they will send you. This is actually the old one, but this is the part they will send you, so it comes complete with the handle. Everything is about 25 euros. You don't need to uh, mess around stripping this down. So now we just remove the four screws on here. Fairly obvious. And four. Okay, whole unit just lifts off. That's it. So you'll receive your new one. So this, uh, don't make the mistake I did. Um, make sure you put this on first. <laughs> so when you come, because I assembled it all the first time and forgot this part and then you can't fit it on after. So first thing to do, you get your new part, you push on this plastic cover here, place it on top, put your hose in. This is all fixed, you can't move it, it's, it's all fixed in position. So pop in there, make sure that's driven home and then slide in your retaining clip in the back there, a little bit fiddly. Clips into position. Screw down. screws here Just 
Don't over tighten anything. It's, uh, it's not going to fall apart. So just gently let you down. Okay, Our cover. Bring the cover back on here. Make sure that you haven't trapped any of these wires. Clip that into position. Okay, from home, and then gently make sure that these are recessed behind these clips. You don't want to assemble the machine and find it doesn't work because you've trapped some of the wires. They simply are just held in, very gently held in there. Put in. It's the same on the other side. Okay, then we've left them in the same position, so place your silicon covers back over. Make sure that they're fitted in properly there. Very gentle, no real force needed with any of this. That's it, so make sure they're nice and flush there, okay. Now we have our cover to go back on. So, as I say, is there, with the machine facing towards you, probably better the one with the large lugs on first. Just be careful not to trap this silicon button in when you put that on, click it into place. You can hear it click into place. Place the other one. Put the lugs in here. See just inside there, the two lugs. Place them inside there first. Make sure it's all straight. And this is where you need a small screwdriver now. Just gently, very gently, just lift this, guide this button up so it slips into the hole there and everything's out of the way, clip that back on, okay? And the plastic cover can also go on there, your chrome cover. So that's that, all replaced now. So refit, place all of your wires through here as they were previously. And the two, um, the two water supply, one's supply and one's return actually, but make sure that they're poking back through here. You can't go wrong with the, with the water supplies here and return. The, the, the small one and the large one, you can see, you can't, you can't get them wrong, you know, so small one, back on there, large one, back on there. And then we place our wires back in the same position. So, move them around out of the way. And we have these two here. Blue obviously connects into blue there. Brown obviously connects into brown there. Right, don't forget to look at your, your photograph because you'll find on your photograph you've taken, you'll know exactly where because they're not coded here at all. You don't want those the wrong way around, that's for sure. So, Feed your earth wires back in to the housings here, the clip, sorry, just to make sure that they're out of the way. You don't want to trap that. Put them all back in the way they were. Connect that up. Connect it all back up. And so, just spend a couple of seconds just making sure 
the, there's no wires are going to get trapped when you when you when you place the cover back on. Okay, that's quite important. So replace the cover, clips into place. Let's say standard standard screws. You can get the you, well, you can use standard ones. It's just the standard ones will rust in in time. Um, you can get some stainless steel replacement screws once you've removed the oval ones. But if you bought the tool, um, it doesn't matter. You can you can obviously use this, the, the the same screws to go back in. I just did this, replace these for for ease. Uh, really, anything else? Uh, keep stopping and starting the video so drop all of those back in okay so now we'll put that back you can throw your old one away. Back in this position. Um, these always look grotty. Um, uh, you can actually just chuck them in the dishwasher. They come up like new, you know, so. Nespresso capsules. I hadn't used any other maker capsules, so it wasn't the. Like, uh, I, I bought the cheaper plastic ones, and and that's why it failed. It had only ever ordered Nespresso capsules from Nespresso, the aluminium ones. So it, it it didn't it didn't break or wear out because I was I was using different types of of, of cheaper capsules. But sod it. Now it's done. It's cost me twenty five euros to repair it. And I'm going to use cheap capsules. Try and get my money back. So, the capsule. Should have put the machine on first, really. So, let the machine warm for a second. Cup. Proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say. One second, wait for that to warm, and uh, my coffee. Just running a small espresso through there. Right, so now you see there's nothing in the bottom. Now you will get a small drip from, from this. You will get some water over a period of time, it will, because as you, as you discard the, the used capsule, there is a little bit of, um, of water, obviously, that sits inside the chamber here, in the brew chamber here, um, so that will drips down, but it should just be a, a few drips. It, it was getting to the stage where there was more water in the, in the bottom container overflowing from everywhere than there was in the cup. So, see, 
there's nothing. There's a, a small drip in the bottom. You know, you probably need to empty that every 30, 20, 30 capsules, whatever. So there you go. I hope that like me, um, you won't uh, have to spend the 90 euros just for somebody to look at it. Um, and uh, in a simple fix like that. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thanks now. Bye.